In this forensics activity, we're running a mini gel electrophoresis. This is suspect one, suspect two. This is the victim and this is the evidence. The evidence should be placed between suspect one and two, so we'll see how this turns out. I'm just running it off of a single battery for about 24 hours. We'll take a look every once in a while and see how it's coming along. The gel has been running for almost 10 to 12 hours. It is running on a single 9 volt battery, but earlier today I saw that the original dial was about midway, so I'm going to go ahead and put the the final die on it and rinse that several times and see if some of the banding will go ahead and show up. I think it's running a little bit quicker than I originally thought. So I just added the blue final stain. It's going to stay for three or four minutes. I'm going to dump that off and then I will start rinsing and we'll see if we see any DNA banding. So I poured off the original blue stain and now I'm going to rinse and I'll be rinsing and then pouring this off consecutively and then I'm going to put it in a plastic baggie overnight and let it develop and then rinse it again tomorrow. We'll see what happens. So what do you think? We have suspect one in the first column, suspect two, second column, victim, third column, and evidence in the far right column. So from left to right, who is the perpetrator? Suspect one, suspect two. So after an overnight de-stain wash, look at the clarity that I have now. Is this not beautiful? Pretty clear that suspect one and the evidence agree. There is a little DNA wave front kind of showing up in the victim category, but I think that was some spill over the DNA that I had put into the evidence well earlier. Very nice result. I had originally mistakenly thought that the dye wave front was the DNA and my son corrected me gently on this and so I ran the gel again. I want to show you though the video that I had originally taken where I had mistakenly thought that the original DNA dye wave front was the actual fragmentation when in fact it was not. So that little video clip will come up last after this. Enjoyed it. Good experience, especially due to the expert opinion and coaching by one of my sons. Thank you. So after about 45 minutes, I'm starting to think that suspect two matches the evidence. Suspect one is a little bit ahead. This is the victim over here.